everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. I'm bringing you this wig review today for PinkyPromise.com. Today we're gonna to take a look at two wigs in two colors, but they are both the same style. So we're gonna look at Gabor Best in Class, which is a brand new style for them. And we're gonna look at two colors that are very similar, the 5660, which is their silver, and the 56001, which is their Arctic white. More on these wigs in just a minute. All right, let's get started looking at best in class. First, I'm just gonna go over her cap construction, her measurements, and then I will put in some side-by-sides that will show the colors um, next to one another. These colors are so similar, which is which. So I actually left the tags on the wigs because <laughs> I was a little concerned that I would mix them up. So um, of course, I'll give you details on each color, you know, when, we, when I go through that part, but I mean, these are so close that if one color was on back order, you could easily substitute, you know, with the other color. So this one is the Arctic white. And you can see, I just feel like it looks a little more white. Maybe it has a little less of the silver in it. So this is the 56 1001. And then what I'm wearing is the 5660, which is the silver. So first of all, cap construction, and then we'll get into all of her specs. I'm even gonna do, when I do the turn, we can see it all the way around. I'm gonna do that in double screen too, so you can see both of them all the way around, even though it's the same style. Just again, so you can just continue to see those colors next to one another. Okay, so best in class is really, really cute. Um, she has a lot of hair up here on the top, but I looked and dug through and looked and looked and I do not see any permatease. I think she's just, they just put a lot of hair up here on the top just to give her some volume and then the layers are shorter. Um, but I think she's really, really cute. These are the heat friendly fibers. So uh, the true to life heat friendly fibers. So just really, really cute style. So she has an extended lace front and then she has that same um, part that wraps around back here in the back and just widens at the crown, giving you a little extra coverage on that part. So lace front looks really nice. And these colors are so close, you know, the knots are gonna look the same on the other color as well. I've got good coverage around the ear tabs. Now there is a little bio hair showing here. So, and this one is fitting my petite head at 11 inches really nicely from ear to ear with a little bit of space. So, you know, you would want to make sure that if you have bio hair that's gonna show, you know, at these sideburns, you wanna make sure that you're matching that color pretty well. So, because I think that it would show, cause I have just a tiny bit and you can see it does show there. So, um, so I will show you the part. The part was kind of hard to open on this one. And in this color, it's sort of hard to actually see the mono part, but it is a monofilament part. It is not one of those hand tied uh, tops. So, and like I said, that's going to wrap around back to here. doesn't really uh, look like it, you know, look much different than a regular left mono part that went to the crown, but they just give you that extra little bit of that part there. So, okay. So measurements for best in class, we have a five and a half measurement here in the front. We have five and a half inches at the crown, four and a half inch sides, and a four and a half inch measurement in the back. So like I said, there's just some layers and a two and a half inch nape. Pretty nape. You can really see it here on the um, mannequin, how pretty that nape is. Way it lays, really nice. And then weight wise, she comes in at 2.72 ounces. Okay, I will then pop in those turns so you can see the style all the way around. Okay, so here's the cap construction. So this is what I'm talking about with that part. This is another one of those parts that's shaped like a J, wraps around onto the crown there. Then we just have closed wefting right here. You have your extended lace front that gives you that true temple to temple coverage. Extends down onto the ear tab. Soft felt ear tab with nice piece of metal in there open wefted cap, 
soft extended nape with Velcro adjusters. Plenty of stretch in the cap and stretch in the circumference as well. Okay, let's take a look at these colors. So the first one that I'm gonna tell you about is the 5660, which is the silver. So that's this color I have on my head. So description for the 5660 silver is lightest gray, evenly blended with pure white. So I feel like in this color, the gray and the white stand out from each other more. I think there's more of that gray going through it, the silvery gray versus uh, what I see going through the Arctic white. Neither one are rooted, so very natural looking light gray colors. Okay, so now I'm wearing the 56 1001, which is the Arctic white. So uh, the description for this Arctic white is lightest gray with pale white highlights and medium gray lowlights. Now see the description <laughs> to me indicates that there would be more gray in here when I feel like to my eye and the way it looks like on camera, there's less gray so here's a close up of the 5660. So you see what I'm talking about? All that silver that you can see. And this one, I can't see as much of that dimension. Let me move away from the bright light a bit. Maybe it'll look differently when I go to edit. They're just so close. Like I said, I think you could easily substitute them, you know, for one another. Okay, so I hope you were able to distinguish those two colors. I definitely feel like the main thing is that this Arctic white, just the white pops more in it than the gray does. So um, it just looks more white versus, you know, having the silver in it. So, okay, so this is one way that you can style this wig for best in class. You can easily tuck her behind the ears and then I just pulled down a little bit of the bang and I think that looks really, really pretty. So I like to tuck it to show you the glasses. So, uh, you know, like I said, the style's not poofy. It's a very natural density, so glasses are no problem. I do like to wear my glasses over um, the tops of my ear tabs, and then you can put the glasses up on your head, you know, no problem. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like if it's not tucked. So it's just gonna slide right in there, and that hair is gonna go down over, you know, where the uh, edge of your glasses are, though. So, looks cute. And very easy. So, okay, so let's put in a headband. I always like with these silvers, I always like to use my leopard. Might be a little clashy with my spotted top, but that's okay. Really cute. And again, I think that you could probably, let's see if we can get that bang in our headband. Might be too short, five and a half inches. No, I think we can actually. So you just wanna be careful and watch your lace front there, but you could get all of the hair back in the headband if you wanted to. So other than that, you know, she's a short style. Uh, you can go and get, you know, push her, feather her back. These are the heat friendly fibers, like I said earlier. So, you know, you can use some heat and uh, put some curl in if you want to. I think you could get more volume on top if you wanted to. 
you know, just by feathering her back. But like I said, she might need a little, you know, blow dryer, a little heat to get her to do that exactly right. But you can take advantage of that beautiful lace front, you know, and push the hair back away if you wanted to, or you can keep it, you know, closer to the face like this, which is really cute. You could also use some really cute little clips and, you know, pull back away from your lace front. Since you have that temple to temple coverage, you've got lots of options there for pulling the hair back. So I think she's an adorable new style with this new collection for Gabor. So thank you so much to Pinky Promise for sending both of these wigs to review and do a color spotlight for you all on. There will be purchase information for best in class in the drop down box underneath this video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.